Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Friday, April 7, 2023. 31 degrees at 1026 a.m. And I am your host, Fa Kamal, and I'm a sinner. Happy Good Friday to those of you who celebrate the Christian faith. It is Good Friday, and I'm a sinner. And Jesus is here doing what he was here for us, here for us to do what he was here to do, whatever that means. I guess what I'm trying to say is he came to take care of our sins for us. I'm the one of the I'm one of the sinners that he's here to take care of, so it's a perfect thing, you know. Yeah. Doesn't give me the right to keep on sinning, but I probably will. I don't know. Anyway, we've been up for quite a while today, probably since six o'clock or so. Got a couple city chickens out on the wire. It is fairly sunny out there, but it is quite cool. It was windy earlier. Uh, Mikey's over there. Brother Prince and Co-Star Mikey is on the bench. Brother Prince and Co-Star Sullivan is over here. Brother Prince and Co-Star Max is right here. And we've had a pretty busy morning so far. We had coffee and wake-up time, except we didn't have any coffee. It's been three or four weeks now almost. Almost four, I think. And uh, so we're drinking some chaga. I got some yeast proofing. We're going to be baking some bread. I made some, mixed up some salmon with some breadcrumbs and egg yolk and mayo and a bunch of seasonings. And we're going to make salmon patties. I have did a little bit of yoga, some jumping jacks, and one set of reps of seven different weight lifts. So... Yeah, pretty soon we're going to go throw that dough in that, or the flour in that water and yeast and butter and salt and sugar and get that bread dough rising. I think he's twitching on my knee over here. Anyway, Sammy's underneath the coffee table in the living room. Elsie's upstairs in the Betty Bay. Yeah, we still got to give Sam his blood pressure pill. He had his pain medicine and his antibiotic. And he's doing quite well recovering from his oral surgery that he had. And I am so grateful for that. Yesterday, I even emailed the doctor, his heart specialist, Dr. Weeder, down at MidMission uh, Veterinary Cardiac Services, just outside of East Lansing. And uh, thanked him because without his knowledge and skills and concern... Dr. Greenfield here, who did the oral surgery, and the staff, her staff, I think Jess was in on it. Um, she's a technician, and anyway, you know, they had to have special uh, a special procedure to put Sam under because of his heart murmur and his high blood pressure and whatnot. So it was a combined effort by a lot of caring people, and I'm so grateful for it. So anyway, and I decided that one day just... I don't know when it'll be, but I'm going to make some lentil soup and some of my bread and drive down to give it to Dr. Weeder and his assistant, Brianna. Because I like doing things like that for people who do good things for me. So anyway, um, Maxie's purring up a storm. We did get on a bike ride yesterday. I did not uh, get the Kona back together. It's a slow but sure project happening. But I did ride my trek, and I went at least 10 miles, probably more than that, because I was riding for an hour and a half, maybe two hours, and I wasn't breaking any speed records, but I, I did go quite a ways. So, probably anywhere from 10 to possibly 15 miles. And I ran into a retired Marine that I know, um, and chatted with him Was that when I was pedaling on the bike path through the cemetery. He was uh, out walking his dogs. And a fellow Marine of his passed away and he took in that guy's dog, which was a nice thing because he didn't want to see the poor thing get euthanized. And that happened to a friend of mine's dog. Actually, I don't know if Donnie was a friend. He was a friend and co-worker, I guess. But when he passed, his neighbor said he'd take the dog for him and his sister had the dog euthanized. And I was so pissed about that. It was just so wrong. But hey, what do you do? But anyway, so going back to the Marine, and it was nice of him to take care of his fellow Marine's dog after the, his friend passed. And the world needs more of that kind of stuff, I think. 
Anyway, uh, when I got back from the bike ride, I talked to neighbor Steve. Uh, had some lentil soup. And what else did we have? A hot dog rolled up in a fajita with ketchup, mustard, and diced onion. Here comes that Sullivan. There's Bobby. There's Bobby. Then we hung around here watching YouTube's on video, watching videos on YouTube. Watched a good uh, speech by uh, Michael Knowles. I forget where he was. I think at a university in South Carolina somewhere. And I watched a great segment on Mash Matt Walsh destroying some transgender person thing. I won't even say it. This I'll just say flat out what it is. A guy who thinks he's a female. And the more the guy talked, the more he, you could see he was not, he was unbalanced. <laughs> anyway, a couple city chickens on the service line. Uh, and then we went to the county library. There was a candidate who was, uh, her name is Christine Kamara, I believe, and she was a candidate for the Secretary of State's office during the midterm elections, and she was defeated. But, uh, the, the uh, county Republican Party had her here as a speaker, and it was awesome. There are a lot of people that are like me who see what's going on in this country. The same old things, you know, people dealing with facts and logics, trying to talk with people who operate on feelings and that melt when you try to present facts to them. And, you know, the, the corruption and the scandal and everything that's going on with them in bed with communist China, who was an enemy of our country, and all the idealistic bullshit that's designed to enslave us all to a foreign country, basically. And she talked about a way to help us get organized and get more people out and aware of some of these issues. A primary one that China is buying farmland in this country, and if you're a citizen of this country... It should scare the hell out of you to realize that a foreign country is coming in here and is going to be able to control your food supply because they own the farmland that it's grown on. That's just not right. And another thing she talked about was a battery plant down in uh, that the Chinese are trying to build down in uh, Big Rapids in Macosta County. And, you know, these things are just wrong. They are just wrong. But every all these leftists and these Democrats, along with all the other woke bullshit going on, and that's not to say that I am not for diversity or, you know, any of that. I am all for it. But I'm, what I'm really all for is people being accountable for what they think, saying, do, say, and do. And uh, there's so much of that not around anymore, you know. And it's just so many years it's been going on, one thing after another. And the latest political football is... All these rights for trans people and whatnot, and it's in your face everywhere you go. Uh, they already have rights. They're human beings, you know. What they want is special privileges and for people that aren't delusional to live with them in their delusion. And I, for one, am not going to do that. But anyway, it was a great speech, uh, and I really enjoyed it. I'm glad I got out to go see that, and... We need more people like her around in politics. And you could tell she was pretty much an OBS. <laughs> Didn't back down and set her piece whatever people were going to think. And I'm, I'm kind of that way myself. And I know a lot of times I'm full of shit. But I'll tell you what, when it comes right down to it, for the most part, I am responsible for what I think, say, and do. And I'm not waiting for handouts from people and a uh, supporter of the... Uh, the way Thomas Sowell put it was socialism. You go up and say, what part of uh, what you earn is my fair share? You know, what percentage of what you work for is mine? Because that's what it is, you know. And you see what the result of all these policies are over the years with the tent cities and all the drug addicts shitting and living in the city streets, the crime running rampant, you know, store after store after store closing because there's more theft than there is sales. And the behavior of unchecked criminal behavior, you know, the DA's not wanting to prosecute it. And the list goes on and on and on and on and on. So I think I need to get more involved. We need to get more involved. Because most people don't go beyond the sound bites, say here, and the headlines. Nobody looks into things. A lot of people don't. I shouldn't say nobody. And that's what helps 
promote and spread this virus that's been happening for years, you know? It's not good. It's enslaving us all. And, oh, there go a couple geese. Anyway, so give me some encouragement to speak my mind and keep speaking my mind and try to walk the walk and maybe get involved with people that think like I do to help sp spread, stop the spread of this cancer. And with that, I think we're going to pause. Boy, I've been rambling for over 10 minutes. Welcome back. The bread dough is rising. The salmon patties are cooking. I'm here with Maxi, Sullivan, and Michael. And before I forget, happy birthday, Sister Kathy, 67 years young today. No, she's 67 years old. Why mess around like George Carlin used to say? That was a silly saying. Whatever your age is, be proud of it and be it and act it and live it. But anyway, yeah, when I said welcome back, we got a special thing going to come happen on Monday. Usually after I say welcome back, I say I don't really mean that. But I, I gave that up for Lent, and Lent is almost over. So come Monday, if you come back, I'm going to tell you a welcome back, and then I'm going to say I don't really mean it. And then at the end of the show, I'm also going to say piss off, because I gave that up for Lent too. And uh, when I say that, I pretty much do mean it. But uh, I've given that up for Lent also, but come Monday, April 10, we'll be back to saying piss off to close. So it's Happy Friday. Uh, I'm sure I'm forgetting to say something. We might get out and ride around on the bike a bit, I think, after we have some salmon patties and bake this bread. Uh, not much happening out there. So from the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burdened, empty, hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, and forlorn soul, happy Friday and thanks for not tuning in. <laughs>